the green snakes, particularly the Philothamnus of Southern Africa, particularly South Africa, can be a very confusing genus of snakes to many people. So today we're going to take a little look at three of the most commonly confused green snakes, the spotted bush snake, the western natal green snake and the eastern natal green snake. So here we have the spotted bush snake, probably one of the most common green snakes seen across the country and one that is often encountered around homes. As you can see here, it has black markings or black speckles. This one is in the blue, so a little bit difficult to tell. And iris, which is the telltale sign of the species. It also has these turquoise flecks between the scales, which the western tail greens also have. But if we look at the bottom of the snake, it is typically an off-white, sometimes yellow, and the ventral scales are typically quite keeled. And what that means is, there's a line you can see on the base here, which aids this animal to climb. Spotted bush snakes can be a little bit cheeky sometimes. They will bite, but they feed mainly on geckos, frogs, and lizards. And here we have the western natal green snake. You can automatically see off the bat, the snake's got, typically has a nice turquoise color on the head, turquoise color on the tail, which is not always the case. These snakes typically lack the black spots or the black bar markings of the spotted bush snakes. And if we have a look at the belly, you can see the belly is a, a yellowy, sort of a greeny color. They have keeled ventral scales, but they are not as heavily keeled as the spotted bush snake. If we have a closer look at the snake's head, we'll see the iris is completely black. Sometimes you can just make out the white in the iris, but these western tail green snakes, that's generally one of their key features. You can see the pitch black iris. These snakes are also quite bitey um, when first handled, but you can see this animal is quite relaxed. It's not wanting to bite at all. It just wants to get away. These snakes reach a similar size of the spotted bush snakes. However, they are usually quite a lot more robust than the spotted bush snake. You can also see the head is a little bit shorter. The head's not as elongate and it is quite distinct from the neck. And here we have the Eastern Natal green snake. Now, these snakes are not all found in the same locality. They are separated by distribution. But here, as we can see, the Eastern Natal green snake is more of an emerald green. It has a yellowish to green belly. It's got a bright yellow iris in the eye. The chin, as you'll see, is quite yellow. The head is quite elongated much more elongate and slim, slimmer compared to the western tail green snake. And overall, the ventral scales are a lot, are much heavily more keeled compared to the western tail green snake, most similar to the spotted bush snake. Here's something I personally haven't seen all at once, is three species of the Philothamnus, the western tail green snake, the eastern tail green snake in the middle, and the spotted bush snake at the bottom here. As I said before, these snakes are generally separated by distribution. However, this eastern tail green snake came as a hitchhiker to this area, not locally found yet, came in a car after it came down from Zululand. So if we have a close look at these snakes, if I can get them all together, let's have a squiz. We can see how different the colors of each of these snakes' eyes are. You have the eastern tail green snake with the yellow iris, spotted bush snake with the orange iris and the exquisitely colored western natal green snake with the dark iris and if we put all of the snakes together here you can see we have three distinct colors or shades of green on the dorsal on the top and if we put them on the belly very similar looking colors so these species of snakes especially in the phylothamus are very difficult to tell apart you do need quite a lot of experience seeing them in the field. It is difficult to make out the identification solely from the books. So the best way of identifying these snakes is look at the characteristics of the snakes. Look at the head shapes. Look how long the head is and look at the overall color. 
particularly the color of the eye, like I mentioned. Um, I hope this video has helped a little bit to try and try to let you learn about the colors and the overall shapes and size of these snakes. They are harmless. They do get confused with green mambas and boomsang quite often and also needlessly killed. So if you spend a little bit of time getting to know your harmless green snakes, it'll become a lot easier to get the identifications wired. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.